I'm just going to take a fecal sample, fresh fecal sample from the cage. Um, and when you're doing that, use a cover slip and separate the dark part of the dropping from the white. You do not generally want the white part of the dropping. It makes it very hard to see anything under the microscope. So we're now taking a, um, a small dob of faeces. I'm spreading it out a bit. And the first thing I note is that there's undigested food particles in it. I can see little bits of seed in it. So he may be lacking shell grit, uh, not shell grit, sand grit in his diet. Or he may have disease of the... I'm now adding a drop of saline or sterile water. Eva will do the job. Just to the, to the slide. Um, and we'll get that to run in under there. And then we'll make the smear thin. That smear as it is there is far too thick. I'll just bring the paper around here so you can see it a bit more clearly. So I want the, the smear quite thin. And now we're getting, so I'm not using the whole faecal sample, I'm just separating some of it so that I've got a thin smear that I can see through. My next step will be to, will be to get a, a throat sample.